The road data gateway is very similar, except that instead of having one of these gateway objects per table, we've got one per row within a table. And uh, therefore, essentially what happens is that each database column becomes a field in the object, and this class will contain the insert, update, and delete methods, each of which will have their own SQL statements for interacting with the database. What we can do now is create one of these objects, put in the data that we want, and then call the insert method or the update method, and that method will change the database in the way intended. And typically, with the row data gateway, we have the find methods held in a separate finder class. Typically, there will be one of these objects per table row. So if you've got a table with four rows, then we'll end up with four of these objects, potentially, within the application. And if, as well as that, you've got a second table with six rows, then you'll have an additional six objects. So we interact with all of these objects within the system. Now, of course, that means that we might end up with quite a lot of objects. Let's see how it would work. Here we have a servlet and a database. The servlet needs to talk to the database. So what it does is first create an employee finder object and then call the find method, passing as a parameter the ID of the employee that is to be found, in this example, two. The find method will then interact with the database, calling using the proper SQL, and will then get in return a result set. That find method will then create for each row within the result set, an employee row object. That object is then returned to the servlet. So let's have a look at another example, the row data gateway example. Again, we're using the command pattern here, so we've got all the commands in that package. Here we have the row gateway. So this time, for a department, the department row has the columns. We've got the database username and password in there, which are being stored. You'll notice this class extends database utility. The database utility class has basically got the database connection and disconnection software in there. You can look at those in, in your own time. Because this is related to an individual row, then we can have get and set methods for each of these columns. In addition to that, there will be insert, update, and if necessary, delete methods within this object and therefore the insert, delete, and update methods will only operate on that one row within the table. The department finder is the class that has got all the find methods. So what we were looking at previously in the table gateway has been split now for the row. All the bits that deal with just the row have gone into the department row class, and the find methods have all gone into the department finder class. So you'll recognize the strings for the SQL statements, and the find all method, the find by ID, find by name, and create department. So it's the same as what it was before. It's just been packaged differently, really. But other than that, it's going to work in a very similar way to what we looked at previously. So I won't spend too much more time on that example because it's very similar to what we had before.